Hi everyone, I'm back. <laughs> back in Scotland, ready for autumn. I think it's been seven, no, eight or nine days since we've returned and I am just still all messed up. And it's been kind of a whirlwind to settle back into a routine and get back to work. Just to recap, we were in America for three weeks. We went to New York and Washington, so coast to coast. Um, we were visiting friends and family, and it was, it was a, it was amazing. <laughs> I'll just show you because I can't find words. I, I can't word right now. How long does it take to get over jet lag? <laughs> I did lots of painting, lots of sketching. Uh, which I'll show you in this video. But if you would like to see more of a vlog of our trip, I just posted one over on my other channel, Sarah in Scotland. And that one is more like showing the whole journey. I'm gonna show you like a, a few minutes of what the, the trip was like. And then at the end of this video, I'll do a little flip through of my sketchbook that I took with me. And then soon I'll get back to my normal video schedule, I hope. <laughs> Thank you for watching everyone. I'll see you all very soon. Okay, now it's time for the sketchbook tour. First, I wanna mention that these little Strathmore watercolor travel journals, I believe they're 500 series, are basically discontinued here in Scotland or the UK. I could not get my hands on them. I've looked everywhere. The only place I can find them is Etsy, but they ship from abroad, which means they're super expensive. And they're my favorite travel sketchbooks. So I wanna, give a huge shout out to Becky. I'll put her handle on the screen here because Becky sent me a few of these at the last sec. I got them like the day before I left. I was so excited and this is the perfect travel size. Since I was with people the whole time, I didn't want to take too long with each sketch. So in that kind of situation, I usually give myself like 10 to 20 minutes per sketch. Small scale is the way to go. <laughs> this is a five by eight inch. And these are some stickers that my niece and nephew gave me. <laughs> All right, so the first page, I kind of started this as sort of a travel diary style sketchbook, which changed later on. So the first page is just about our flight over, a really embarrassing photo of me. 
<laughs> that I found in my dad's basement um, and just some sketches uh, basically around my dad's property. So yeah, these first couple pages, we were at my parents' house. I was just sketching whatever was around. So sunsets, clouds, trees, forests, you name it. And then we went to the camp. They own a bunch of woodland property and they're, they call it the camp. <laughs> uh, so they go, they take their RV and they stay there on weekends or just whatever. My dad loves it there and he spends a lot of time there. And I love it as well because we're in the middle of the woods. So we camped there for three nights. And while we were there, I was just sketching every now and then. We were doing a lot, so I didn't have a ton of time to sketch. So again, little sketches, hanging out by the fire. And there used to be a house on the property, which my dad repurposed the stones and made like a platform for their RV. And with the leftover stones, he made some steps and a little temple and a, like a little area that he called Machu Picchu. So I just couldn't resist sketching that. And then we spent our last full day there kind of just exploring. We went to Chittenango Falls, which is an epic waterfall, really cool place. And it was a challenge though, because I was able to paint the first layer there, but it would not dry because it's so humid and the waterfall is just throwing all this water and mist down onto us. Uh, so I, I did the first, layer and then we carried it back to the car opened like this uh, and then later at home I finished it with another layer so this is the final result which you saw in the little video and then we flew to Washington State and we drove from Seattle all the way to eastern Washington which is basically a desert so along the way there were so many interesting scenes like from when we landed in the afternoon until sunset or basically dark. So I painted a little bit of that when I got to my brother's house. Just inspired by the majestic colors and just layers and layers and layers of mountains. And the next day or one of the days we went to Palouse Falls and that's a 200 foot waterfall. It's the state waterfall. And my brother's a geologist, so it was interesting to hear a little bit more about it from that from that side of things. Uh, but especially awesome to sketch. I would have spent days there sketching if I could, but it was really hot and dry and we were with them. So obviously that wouldn't have worked, but I did get a little sketch in just pencil sketch on on this side. And a little watercolor of the falls on that side.
And that was pretty much the only sketching I did with my brother and his family. Um, because then we went to Mount Rainier National Park, just Wolfie and I. Wanted a few days by ourselves just to explore and I did way more sketching up there. And the first trail we went on was Silver Falls Trail. It was the coolest hike, especially once you get to the, the river and the waterfall. I think it was just the color of the water was mind blowing. <laughs> so we spent a lot of time there and I did a, I did one painting while we were there, but I've been doing a lot of little paintings since returning home. And we went to Mount Rainier itself, as well as a bunch of the wilderness around it. So this bottom one was just a view of the Tatouche wilderness. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you say it, but, uh, and then of course, Mount Rainier. Just a wee viewpoint at Mount Rainier. Did a little painting. Now we're gonna see what else we can find around here? But boy, is it hot today. A lot of driving, a lot of viewing things from afar. <laughs> uh, we did a few, a few hikes, which I was able to sketch uh, during. That mountain is pretty amazing. And then we went to Whidbey Island for the end of our trip, which I didn't really show much in the recap video, but I did show more on my vlog on my other channel. Um, we did a little hiking here and there, but mostly that was just like hang out with friends, eat and drink and just be merry. <laughs> so uh, this was pretty much the only sketch I did outside. We went to a place called Deception Pass, and this particular spot was Bowman Bay. And actually reminded me very much of Scotland. That big tree and <gasps> yeah, sketch. that was so amazing. Oh, fun day. Told her, let us know when she wants us to head to Edie's. And that was it. I still have a blank page. <clears throat> so I'm not sure what I want to do with that. What do you guys think? Should I do like paint my favorite memory or I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do at the end of this. I don't want to just leave it blank. <laughs> But I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, as a reminder, I have a video on my other channel that's much longer, more of a vloggy style thing. And yeah, I'm just gonna try to get back into the swing of things. I have a lot of work to do for Patreon and a lot of catch up emails and everything. So thank you for watching everyone. I will see you all soon for more videos. Take care.